Hey guys, had another question from someone that wanted to know what is the ammonia smell coming from my body, okay? Doing keto, intermittent fasting, and I have this interesting odor coming out. Uh, so let's first talk about what ammonia is. Ammonia is the byproduct of protein breakdown. It's called protein catabolism, which is the breakdown of protein. And in a normal person with normal healthy kidneys, this ammonia should break down into something called urea and be excreted, okay? Urea is a, uh, a less toxic material. Ammonia is more toxic, especially to the brain and the nervous system. So if your kidneys are normal, okay, you can make this conversion very easily and there's no problem. However, if the ammonia builds up in the body, it can create not just an odor coming out of your skin, but problems with your, ment your cognitive function, lethargy, being irritable, seizures, breathing problems, and even brain swelling. It could be quite dangerous. Okay, so that's very interesting, but now what do we do about it? Well, to figure that out, we have to know what causes this buildup of ammonia. There's several things. Number one, either a fatty liver or a liver that has cirrhosis, that's scar tissue. Because the capacity of liver to function and detoxify this is not there, thereby backing it up through the system into the blood, creating all sorts of issues. Kidney damage, okay? So if you have kidney damage or liver damage, you can actually easily get a buildup of ammonia. Okay, number three, acidosis. Some people get acidosis when they do the ketogenic plan if they don't do it correctly because they're missing out on something called <coughs> vegetables. Vegetables counter the acidity from ketones. Now, when you're potassium deficient, it's called hypokalemia, your kidneys can start producing and excreting large amounts of ammonia. Hmm, I wonder what food will increase potassium. Certain side effects from medication and drinking a lot of alcohol will also affect ammonia, probably because medication and alcohol destroy the liver and the kidneys. And lastly, a high protein diet. Now, if you have healthy kidneys and a healthy liver, you could probably handle higher amounts of protein. So if you start noticing that your body starts having this odor of ammonia, could be the liver, it could be the kidney, it could be that you're not consuming enough vegetables or getting enough potassium, or your protein is just too high. So if you're enjoying these videos, click share and spread the word.